Hello everyone, today is Monday and we're excited to be back with you today. Um, looking forward to talking with you all. Today you're going to learn about, and this is project is going to be due on Friday, you're going to make an African mask, okay? Now, how are you going to do that? I know you're like, what in the world? How am I going to make a mask? But it's not going to be hard, okay? So if you see behind me, here's an example um, on my green screen of the mask. So first thing you have to do is you're going to have a, and I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see. So the first thing that you need to do is, you remember how we did the painting project? Um, so it's probably good to get like a piece of poster board, like you see here. And you can sort of um, have develop a background for it. Um, you can do it. It's up to you. You can have a piece of black poster board and you want to put the mask on. Um, and maybe you could get some white paint and decorate the edges. Um, maybe you could um, get a um, poster board and decorate like you see behind me. And you can sort of paint it like you did the other piece that you did before. Um, remember how you painted it and it had um, yellow to orange um, to red in the background. So I'm just going to pick some colors. I'm going to do red and I'm just going to fade it into orange. Okay, so I'm going to do two tones once this loads. Um, but it's really interesting, you know, how you can do the background. You see how they did brown and white and yellow. Um, and I'm going to add another color in here. So I'm going to add yellow as well. Um, and this way you can kind of have a background for your mask to sit on. Okay. So I'm going to add yellow right here. And when you, when I add the yellow, it's going to kind of make it pop a little bit so I can have some, some variation in, um, with my piece. So there we go. All right. So I'm going to see if I can turn this piece. I'm going to deselect this. Hit OK. And then I'm going to deselect it. And let's see if I can turn this a different way. There we go. Now, just wanted to let you know that your mask, you can you can decorate this however you want. You know, you can get black paint. And if you want to do like a strip, I'm going to show you right here. So Let's say if you want to put a, oh, I need a circle. No circle, I don't want a circle. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna put a strip right here and I'm just gonna make that black. Okay, I'm gonna copy it and paste it again. And I'm gonna do another strip right here and make that black, okay? Now, what I want to do next is I want to um, add some white to this. So you let this dry. And maybe you could put a pattern up here. You know, it's up to you what type of pattern you want to put. Um, but maybe you wanted to put some type of pattern and um, and you want it to um, go throughout your piece. So I'm just going to put some patterns up here, right here, okay, in white. I'm just freeforming it right now. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. And just put in some white patterns, um, some African patterns you can put right here. Okay. Then the next thing I would do is construct my mask and the mask will go right here in the center. Okay. So this is where your mask, will, you would um, put your mask at right there. Okay. Now let's talk about your mask. So let's look at an example of how this mask is going to look. Um, so I'm going to go to um, this particular page here. Now, um, here's an example of this particular project, and I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it. Here we go. Now, let's look at this. So they use cardboard, and they just start layering, cutting out pieces and putting them together. You can use hot glue. You can use Elmer's glue, whatever you want to do. They got some yarn, some raffia. You can get that from Walmart. Um, and they painted a mask, and then they did black first, and then they let it dry, and then they put these white dots over it, okay? So I want you to look up um, different types of masks. There's different Anglio Igwe, um, just several different kinds we're going to talk about this week. Um, but I want you to kind of see here um, an example of how this should work. I want you to research your mask, and um, today you're going to upload your progress, a sketch of how your mask is going to be in your background. 
how it's going to look. So you can see an example here. You do need poster board for this project. You need cardboard um, so you can cut it up and you can use add accessories. You can, you can use like even fake hair and have it hanging down and put some beads up there um, or it's up to you or um, accessories or raffia or anything like that. Things that you have at your house. Um, braiding hair would be really neat to add up here um, in the background. And some people use yarn. So um, Walmart has yarn too. So you want to make sure your mask is in the middle. As you see here, here's some examples of different types of masks. Um, with this particular project, you're going to understand how to document how art is used to document human experience. You're going to understand um, art in the terms of cultural and ethnic, ethnic context. So that's what we want you to learn for this particular project. Um, now, let's say hypothetically, let's say um, you don't have anything to uh, any cardboard or anything like that. If you don't have any cardboard, you can find actually cardboard anywhere, um, boxes or anything, you just cut it up and use it. But um, if you don't have access to that, you can paint your mask. You can draw it on this poster board and paint it um, and do it that way. You know, So you have an option of making a sculptural mask, like you see a relief mask that you see right here or you can actually paint and design your own mask on the, on the um, poster board, okay? But you will have to leave a space, um, you have to paint around everything else and leave a space for you to um, draw and paint in your, um, your mask design, okay? So let's look really quickly. Um, I want to share my screen with you so you can see how to make a mask and you can look at this as an example, okay? out of cardboard. Okay, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share this with you. Give me a second. There we go. Relief mask inspired by the aesthetic qualities of African masks. First, choose a template to use as the foundation of your mask and cut out the shape. If you don't have a printer, create your own template by tracing household items. Be sure to cut your template on the fold to keep it symmetrical. Trace your template onto a piece of cardboard. Notice how I carefully bend the excess cardboard away from my mask foundation as I am cutting. Next, fold your template in half and trace it onto your mask foundation to establish symmetry. Then, use your folded template to begin creating additional template pieces. Here I am creating a template for the nose and eyebrow structure of my mask. And here I am tracing the template onto a new piece of cardboard. After I trace the template, I begin cutting. Notice how I change cutting directions instead of pivoting my scissors. This will help me from bending my cardboard pieces as I cut them. Try using existing cardboard folds to create structures that you want to stand out from your mask foundation. Here I am creating an additional triangular form for the nose. Use your foundation template to cut smaller templates. Here, I am creating an eye shape. 
To create the feeling of a peaceful closed eye, cut half ovals or half circles from your cardboard pieces. or create wide open eyes by cutting directly into your mask. Here I trace the eyebrow line to establish placement and cut the eye from the edge of my mask foundation. I trace the cut piece to create symmetry on the other side of the mask. I used a second mask foundation to create forehead, cheek, and mouth forms. I wanted to make sure my edges were matched and my cardboard pieces would fit on my mask. Next, I extended the head of my mask by creating a symmetrical crown. Notice how I cut the points of the crown without pivoting my scissors. When cutting points in cardboard, it is best to cut across the grain of the cardboard. Cut out the outside shapes first, then cut inward from both sides of the point to create clean cuts. Craftsmanship is very important. Finally, it's time to glue. Here I use low melt hot glue. You can use white glue or tape to secure your pieces. If you don't have glue, temporarily stack your pieces and simply photograph your work. Don't forget to erase unwanted pencil lines before you present your finished mask. Please note that cardboard tubes work well for creating low three-dimensional features. And if you use a thinner cardboard for ease in cutting, you can create more depth by adding small pieces of corrugated cardboard between the layers of your mask. Please enjoy my finished mask inspired by African mask aesthetics.
All right, so this kind of gives you an idea of what we're looking for. Think about what you can use to create your mask. I mean, cereal boxes, cardboard, I mean, toilet paper rolls, um, anything like that can work. So you look around your house and see what you have that you can use. And then think about painting it um, with the, using the same African colors that you used previously, black, white. Um, you want to paint with green, add some more tones in there you can. Um, but I'm excited to see how these are going to look. And tomorrow we're going to actually talk about different types of tribal masks so you can get an idea of what we um, are looking for. Um, but go ahead and get started. Upload your sketch of your mask today. So upload your sketch. And this mask is due on Friday of this week. So you don't have an extra week. This is due on this Friday. So make sure that you go ahead and get started on it. And I'm be look, asking to see your progress every day. So make sure you do that. Let me know if you have any questions and looking forward to seeing your work, okay?